Tripo AI is an AI-powered 3D modeling tool that generates high-quality and ready-to-use 3D models with text or images in seconds. It offers three different plans to suit different needs, with the basic plan being free and allowing users to generate up to 10 models per month. On the free account, you get up to 600 credits per month. If you pay for subscription, you get 3,600 credits for the month. So I'm going to create a model based on the text prompt. So I'm going to say cute monster in T-Pose to get a kind of a cartoony monster character. Now I'm saying T-Pose because that makes it easier to animate a model inside of something like Unity. Uh, once I've typed that in, just press generate. It does take a while for it to actually generate it. I generally find it takes around four to five minutes before you actually see your textured models. Now, as it's actually generating, it does give you four variations. Uh, and when you actually see the models like this, you can click and drag on them in order to rotate, to check them from multiple angles. Then it will begin to actually generate the textures. These are all HD textures, so they actually look really nice. Um, the only downside is you don't have a great deal of um, options in terms of textures. So you can't really change the colors or, or define what kind of textures go where. It, the AI pretty much decides on what it's gonna look like. Um, you can click on any of these in order to actually go into customization mode. Now you can inspect the model a little bit closer. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse in order to zoom in or out and um, left click and drag in order to rotate around the model. Now you do get some customization features. For example, we can add animation rigging, which will give it a skeleton. So you can actually animate this inside of a 3D engine, whichever uh, 3D software you want to use. You can choose custom and then export this model for specific 3D software, whether that's 3D Studio Max, Cinema 4D, you've even got Blender and Unity, Unreal, etc. And it will decide on what are the best settings for those specific pieces of software. Or you can manually retopologize the model. By default, the models are actually really high resolution. They are designed for 3D printing. So the resolution can actually be quite high. We can see here that the eye option is 300,000 triangles. Um, if we want to export for a game asset, for example, we can choose that and now it will retopologize to around 3,000 triangles. So much more effective. We can also decide which format we want to export in. There are a range of different formats. Uh, and the one that I would probably go with is FBX for Unity, game design, etc. cetera. Uh, you can then download. It only costs 10 credits to download, but it does take quite a long time to download. Once again, you're looking at around four, maybe five minutes before it downloads. Now here I'm using Unity. So once it's downloaded, I can then just drag the FBX file directly into Unity. And first thing you will see is that it looks weird. Okay, the textures and materials are all embedded into the character, but are not um, set up correctly because of the normal mapping. So go to the materials section and first extract the textures. This will then give you a prompt to actually fix the normal map. Once that's fixed, it will then look fine. You can then extract the material. Now we can see that there are a couple of issues with the normal map itself. Um, so we have the armature for the character, we also have the mesh, and under the mesh we can then access the material. If I set the normal map to zero, we can actually see that it looks a little bit better. And to further exaggerate that kind of cartoony feel, if you actually give it some emission and drag in the uh, diffuse texture, you can then increase the lightness of that emission in order to really brighten it up and make it look more kind of cartoony. And I think this is relatively good. Uh, to say that it's been generated by AI. It does have a skeleton, so you can actually manipulate the bones, you can rotate arms, legs, etc. inside of Unity, so you can position the character the way you want. You can also manually animate, or you can bring in your own animations from something like Mixamo, for example, in order to set up the characters. Here is one of the other characters that are generated from AI, and we can see that the trial count is sufficient for games. Okay, so it's relatively low. It's kept most of its uh, quality. There is a little bit of an issue here with the hair at the top where it's missing a couple of elements, but overall, I think it does a pretty good job. I'm creating 
various 3D characters here for a new course that I'm creating, um, a cartoon racing course that's a little bit like Mario Kart. So check out my Udemy page for the new courses that should be coming along soon. Thanks for watching.